Hey y'all, it's Shantia and I am back with another video, okay? Welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the family, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video, okay? So happy Monday, y'all. I have a word for y'all today, okay? Don't know what the title was gonna be yet, um, but I have scripture, okay? So God led me to Psalms 35. And Psalms 35 says, For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning, okay? So listen, um, I'm actually pray over this word, okay? So dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for waking us up on this beautiful, matchless, and marvelous day today, Father God. Lord, I pray that you do something that we've never seen before. Holy Spirit, I pray that you take over everything inside of me. Take over my words, take over my mind, take over my thoughts, Lord, so that I am able to speak to whoever it is on the other side of this video, Lord, that they are able to hear a word directly from you, directly from your mouth, directly from your heart, Father God, that it will bring them comfort, Lord, clarification, Father God, rest restoration father god in every area of their life lord in jesus name we pray amen okay so um god led me to this scripture and um the one thing that he said um after i read this scripture was you have to let go of the old thing and make room for the new right and so I know a lot of my videos, I've been talking about um, like your mindset, like shifting your mindset and stuff, okay? And that's what God is talking about. God is like, you have physically letting go, you know, um, um, of certain things or circumstances or removed yourself physically, okay? And, um, and things like that, maybe even spiritually, but he was like mentally in some area of your life, you're still... Um, holding on to something that you need to let go of. Maybe it's a old version of who you are, okay? Or maybe it's an old um, way of thinking, right? That you need to let go of, okay? And so um, that was what he brought me to. And the reason why he brought me there was because this past weekend, late at night, I had a moment and um, I just began crying, right? And um, it's been random moments that I've been having and I really feel like God allows me to go through them and to have them because whoever I'm connected to, the people that are connected, you all that are connected to my YouTube channel, okay, are um, experiencing the same thing, okay? So I was having a moment where I was like crying and I was like talking to God, like, you know, and um, after God gets done talking to me, this was the scripture that literally dropped in my spirit ASAP was weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the moment. Right. And um, it brought me so much comfort. I started smiling because it was nothing but confirmation of God saying, I got you. And I know I've been saying it in a lot of my videos, but I got you. I got you, okay? In the video I made where um, it talks about um, God said, bet on me. That's what God means, okay? God says, bet on him, okay? Regardless of the certain circumstance or situation, God says, bet on him, okay? And so, but in order to bet on him, in order to believe, right? In order to receive, God is saying, you have to let go of the old and make room for the new, the new that he is bringing, okay? Whatever area of your life that you need to let go of, okay? It could be something that you're just hanging on by a string, right? You really could have let go of everything, but there might be like this one little thing that you could be hanging on as a string that you just need to let go of, okay? And I know the area in my life that God was speaking to me and it was through um, a shift in my mentality, like a switch, right? Of God saying, you can no longer think like that, right? I know you've been hurt in the past. I know you've gone through X, Y, and Z. I know it still may hurt, right? Or it still may be bruised or whatever it is, but God is saying you have to shift your mentality. You have to change your perspective because you're not alone in this season. My God, thank you, Holy Spirit. The past seasons, you have been alone. The past seasons, you have done things your way, but in this season, God is saying you're not alone, so you can trust me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My God, that's what he's saying. You have still been trying to do things, and I'm talking to myself, you have still been trying to do certain things in your life on your own, thinking that you're by yourself, thinking that you have to figure everything out, thinking that you have to figure out your next move, thinking that you have to figure out where you're going to live, where you're going to work out, where you're going to work at, right? When the next income is coming in, whatever it is, okay? And God is saying, God, God is saying, don't ask me 
for a job, right? Don't ask me for those things, but trust in me, right? And know that I am the provider of all things, okay? God is the provider of all things. So he will provide everything that you need, okay? When you need it at the exact time, okay? That he sees fits, okay? So, um, my God, I think I hit it on the nail right there. Ooh, child, mm, of God saying, stop thinking that you're alone, okay? Stop thinking that you're alone. And that has always been my, I wouldn't say issue, but maybe like a challenge that I faced like all my life is always thinking that I was alone or always thinking that I had to just do it my way or do it by myself because nobody cared or nobody cared to help or to look after me or whatever the case is. But now that I'm in a season, thank you, Holy Spirit, my God. Now that I'm in a season of resting and receiving, Okay, I got to shift my mentality in order to be open to receive all of the love and all of the help and all of the resources and everything that is around me um, be, because God is trying to bless me. God is trying to bless you beyond your wildest dreams. Okay, this wasn't even um, in my notes. I was going a completely different way, but I'm sorry, y'all, if I keep like looking off because like as I'm talking to y'all, it's like I'm getting a revelation and God is like working on me at the same time that he's like speaking to y'all. So it's like we learning together always. Okay. And that's what I want. Okay. I want God to be teaching me too. Okay. So anyways, long story short, God is saying for my overthinkers, anyone who is an overthinker, that's me. I'm in my head. Okay. 20, 24, 8. Okay. 30, 30, 30. Okay. Whatever you want to say it's just above and beyond. It's ridiculous how many times I'm always in my head, always overthinking. If you are overthinker, God is saying to relax, relax, okay, relax and rest, relax and rest. Every single time your mind wants to drift off and think about, oh my God, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do that, breathe and relax, okay. Because God is saying, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning, right? And that can be literally like next day, like weeping may endure for a night. And like the next day you have joy in the morning because joy is also a choice, okay? Let me tell y'all something. Don't get me started. Listen, every decision we make in life is a choice. So you have a choice to wake up, to be sitting um, in your depression or sitting in your anxiety or sitting in your fear and your doubt. And you also have the choice to wake up the next morning and be joyful. You can choose to be happy. You can choose to be grateful. You can choose to be joyful. Okay. Why? Because you don't got to have every detail figured out. God already got it figured out for you. All he's doing is asking you to trust in him and trust that he has every single second of your life planned out. If you would just trust in him he got it, okay? He's not asking us to figure it out when he already wrote it before we were formed in our mother's womb. We over here trying to write our own life story and God is like, if you would just trust me, I would tell you which step to take next, okay? And that's when we be having moments of fear and doubt because we be trying to take the steps before God even gives us the blueprint of the step, okay? So listen, I pray that um, this word blesses whoever it is that I'm talking to. I know that you all will be able to take something from this video. It will speak directly to your situation, okay, to whatever it is that you're going through. But God is saying, trust him, okay? Weeping may endure for a night, okay? And for a night can mean for a season, right? But joy comes in the moment. That is confirmation. That is one of God's promises saying that trouble don't last always, okay? Joy has to come. The sun has to shine again. You have to come out of that situation, okay? This is not our words, but this is God's promise to us, okay? So this is confirmation that God is saying you will not be in this situation forever. You will not be stuck and stagnant forever, even regardless of what it looks like god is saying you will come out of this situation okay so anyways i pray that this word blesses you all i pray that you all have a wonderful monday a wonderful week okay and i will be back tomorrow so i love you all until next time bye